You cannot continue to have metrics that don't support a move away from per capita GDP that is historic and tells us nothing about the country while the vulnerability of the country increases exponentially. Right, well, thank you very much indeed for those strong words. Very Welcome to Candid Africa. Thank you for um, having us here. I think we have to recognize that the calls for international reform of the financial system really are not just about governance, but they're for us about longer money, cheaper money, and being able to use it for the purposes for which we need to reduce um, all of our inequalities and to achieve the elements of the SDGs. Um, Ajay is a better place to speak to it, but I'm hoping that we can have a joint effort between the World Bank, the IMF in particular, and the UN to be able to bring to the table the credit rating agencies and the markets because regrettably we value short-term lending but do not understand that if countries are going to invest in education and health care, they need 30 and 40 year money in order to be able to do so. Our situation has been compounded by the pandemic and therefore that long-term money is critical. Secondly, we need mission-oriented lending. Professor Masukato has been making this point and in fact in Barbados we've set six missions recognizing that all of our policies, including the terms and conditions for access to finance, have to reinforce the missions. If we believe that the SDGs are worth attaining, then we need to put a framework in place that allows the MDBs to value the SDGs and to be able to increase the length of um, time that you can have to repay for these funds. Thirdly, we need to ensure that as we do all of that, that we get countries and individuals to see the SDGs as individual targets. Because it is not only about the money that we access, it is also about the policies, it's also about the change of behavior, it's about the change of attitude. The reason why the Secretary General can speak about there being an abundance of food and people starving is because we choose not to act differently and we choose not to share with one another. So I believe that those three points are critical. Let us get the meetings with the credit rating agencies and the markets and Ajay, I'd be interested in hearing your perspective on it because you cannot continue to value short-term lending. You cannot continue to have metrics that don't support a move away from per capita GDP that is historic and tells us nothing about the country while the vulnerability of the country increases exponentially. Right, well thank you very much indeed for those strong words. Very there we have it. That has been our candid speech for today. Please feel free to give your opinions in the descriptions below. On this show we don't tell you how to think or manipulate you. Everybody is open to Air the opinion, what you think about the speech. Did you love it? Did you like it? Do you disagree with it? Do you agree with it? Please let us know in the comments below. That's important. Discussing these issues is very important. So now with that said, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Share this video with friends and family. It's the best way for YouTube to spread this video further, okay? Uh, so it's been me, Mikey Mushi from Tunacheki. And always remember, Africa is watching.